good morning guys welcome to today's video today we got packages i don't even know who they belong to all right so this one is for sam looks like a car part he always is ordering car parts but this one is addressed to day by day vlogs and it's from amazon so so i'm gonna open it i'm gonna open it even if i don't know i don't i didn't order anything i vaguely remember somebody sending us something actually i think i know what it is I think I know what it is. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video. The kids and Sam are down at the barn with the with the farrier, which is terrible. I'm the one that always does the farrier. I do all the farrier stuff all the time. And today I was running behind getting ready and the kids and Sam went down and then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? It's their horse. They should be down there. So I'm just letting them do it themselves today. Ah, I know what it is. This, my friends, is something that I ordered for our kittens. In a recent video, I talked about how there were two little black kittens out in our barn. Two tiny, like the same size as our cat's kittens. So I don't know if they belong to somebody. I don't know if somebody dropped them off and they're just kind of hanging out at our house. I don't know where they came from. Today, Sam found another one down there. So it's possible that we may be feeding four kittens soon. So I got this. Autom four liter automatic pet feeder for our cats. It's by Pet Pet Libro. Pet Libro. I'll show you guys what it says. Pet Libro. I actually always love when I open a package and it looks fancy. Look how, come, look how fancy this is. That's so fancy. Wow, this is such a nice, the only other thing we ever bought that came this nicely, well actually a lot of stuff we ordered comes really nicely wrapped, like the halter equestrian stuff comes really nice, a lot of treat stuff comes really nice, the uh, magnetic stirrups we got came really nice. This is so cool. It actually has a bunch of different pieces, it's got the bowl, it's got a cord, you can program this. So if you were going to go away, like I'm going to read about it and explain it and show it to you guys. It's beautiful. I'm in love with it. Every once in a while I order something and even amaze myself at how good the choice I made. Look what I got. What did you get? This is my box? Yeah, it's a box just for you, Gabby. No, Happy birthday. puppy box. No. You, Gabby. I paid for like five puppy boxes and Gabby's got one. Take it in there for dad to hook up. What is it? I thought I missing, was missing the uh, farrier, but I was not. <laughs> he just arrived. What is it? It's a pet feeding system. Gabby probably doesn't even have to read the instructions. She probably just set it up. Gabby is our resident fix-it person when Sam's not Hi. here. Yeah, Isn't it batteries. nice? Do we need batteries? No, it plugs in. Oh, oh it, it actually does need batteries. There's a cord here. Oh, there's a cord here. It's like men never read the instructions, but it has batteries, which is so super cool. All right, so this is what it looks like. We just have to plug it in and put our food in there. So you can set how much food for it to come out and at what time every single day. Let's see how much food we can actually fit in there. No, wait, dump this stuff in. All right, dump that stuff in first. Every time we come down to do chores, I'm always reminding everybody, don't forget to feed the cats, don't forget to feed the cats, even though we have that little After thing. Yeah, like they go through that so quickly. Oh this God. is nice, it fits so much more. All right, so Gabby is working on the instructions, 13.09. That's the time. Yeah. So basically you put in the time that you want them to be fed and then it feeds them. That's really good for, yeah, day, you read, uh, yeah, so if he's like, just make sure the bowl's full all day, that's all we want. That is cool, it is stunning. Carrier day and it's pouring rain. Today I was going to ride, I got my riding stuff on, but I don't know if we're going to have much time for me to ride, so we're going to see how that, that plays out. I really want to see these kittens though, apparently there are two black kittens the same size as our kittens. Our kittens have made friends, you guys. Either somebody has dumped them off or they live nearby. It allows you to record something so that your kittens will come. <laughs> Gabby's like, that's so embarrassing. No. So now we're going to program it to for the food to come out. All right, you got it working? Yeah, I can figure out how it 
can't do more. Yeah, two tablespoons. Yeah, so the up button right here. No, 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 I did that. Oh, let me see it come out. See, that's how much. Two tablespoons. It puts out two tablespoons at a time. So then, you have to push increase. That's cool, though. This could be really good also for the fact that once we get it programmed, our cats will know when to come back to the barn. So if we like feed them morning and night, then... I know what we should do to it. We should do the WAP song. We should do the WAP song? Yes. So our cats learn to come to the WAP song? Uh-huh. Right, it's pouring rain. Like, how crazy is that? Every time the barrier comes, it pours rain. And I'm really disappointed that I'm not gonna get to have a lesson today. Like, I was so excited. Gabby said I could ride Chino, but yeah, I do not want to ride Chino. Everybody's gaming up on me to ride Chino. Anyways, um, it's okay. It's Okay, so this is the question. Can Chino go barefoot? So I'm going to tell you something. As soon as they take off his shoes, even though he's only had them on for a couple of months, he's going to have some ouchy times. So you're going to have to like see him through that. And we have two shows coming up. Do you want to wait till the next time? Or do you want to put his boots on in the field? I don't think boots on in the field is a good idea because I think he's going to lose them. We're going to talk to the farrier and see what he suggests, but we're anxious to get Chino's shoes off. Barefoot for us is better if we don't need to have them on. We had to put shoes on him for a specific reason. Last winter he was completely barefoot and doing well. So we're just gonna play it by ear and see what he says he wants to do. Yeah, last winter he did well barefoot. Yeah, he did well barefoot. But I could see him walking out there and actually the ground right now is beautiful for going barefoot. Like where they are is where they dump their shavings and stuff, which I love because it's nice and soft. And they're the, old shavings. Though. They're old shavings, yeah. Like when he cleans up the stalls, he dumps the shavings there and it's nice and smooth there. And the grass is nice and soft. Like it's soft out there right now. It's not It's not like winter where it's, there's ice peaks everywhere. But there are ice peaks coming, you guys. Um, and somebody keeps commenting on our vlog saying, Laura, I can't wait to see the puppies in the snow. I can't wait to see the puppies in the snow too. Like I, probably gonna hate it. I can't Molly's wait. Love it. I know Molly's gonna Ruby, go insane. Ruby loves it. Ruby Ruby loves it. Around and eats snow as she's running. Yeah, she does. I think Molly. I, I don't know about Daisy. Like they're supposed to be an Daisy active breed, like but compared to Molly and Ruby, she's the laziest dog we've ever had. Like she literally goes outside for a pee after she has her breakfast and runs upstairs and climbs up on my bed and cuddles with me for like an hour. Like she's not very active. Maybe Molly never cuddled when she was a puppy. I know. She, she always used to sleep by herself because she was hot because yeah. she was raised in a barn where it was so cold. Yeah. Now she cuddles with you. Yeah. She cuddles with you. She cuddles with anybody. Okay, so I have a question for all you experienced people out there. I love that I can ask you guys questions. You guys teach me more than I think anybody else on this planet. Like I learned so much because I have access to so many different people's experiences. So here's my question. My question is when Brooklyn and Jacob were here the other day, we cleaned Gracie's feet and they were really gross smelling. Not, not, thr not thrush. There was no thrush. Like they look great, but they stink really, really bad. And then I said to the farrier today, I said, her feet stink. And he said, as soon as he said, he doesn't notice any smells really. As soon as he picked up her foot, he was like, whoa, like her feet smell so bad. Like what's that from? And so he said, the only thing that like, he said, he doesn't know anything else that would make it smell like that. Just thrush and there's none. I have no evidence of thrush. He's, doing great she doesn't have anything else but her feet are like rotten eggs almost like it's disgusting so I'm wondering if like there's something in there could brewing be the or could be that we're not picking her feet as often as we usually do but it could I be mean the mud or something, cause Willow never goes mud. oh so you think it's the smell of the mud like yeah, mud you know the mud's making it stink. yeah like maybe we need to pick it more I don't know I don't know but anyways comment below and tell me your guys experience with stinky horse feet all right so we got here just in time that we can have a quick ride Unfortunately, I didn't bring my stuff because I didn't think we were going to have time because of the rain. Our horses are soaked. They're warm though. I'm sorry you're soaked. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. It's 
supposed to rain all day too. We should have brought their rain sheets. What are you drying him with? Nothing. The inside of your helmet bag? Yeah. Well, sometimes you gotta improvise. I mean, this will dry off and I need to ride my horse. I was thinking that I love this little breezeway between the barn and the arena and now I realize that that's when our saddles get wet. I just saw all the horses are out there eating. Is it just our horses? No, there's another. Uh, and the storm's not there, storm's up in the trees. I mean, there's a completely beautiful shelter there with he nobody in it. Eating. Yeah, he was eating, but he can only handle so much wetness, you know. He's so sweet. Oh, look at, I can see, like, winter's coming. Well, look at how gorgeous. You can't really tell. It's gonna be pretty, but cold in winter. Yeah, it's gonna be beautiful here in winter, but cold <laughs> and icy. You got the day off yesterday, my friend. So today it's your day to work, and this might be your last day to work with shoes on. How do you feel about getting your shoes off? How do you feel about getting your shoes off, Chino? He's like, if you give me I'm treats, I'll do excited. what. <laughs> He's like, if you give me treats, I'll do whatever you ask. It's amazing how fast my kids can get ready when you only have an hour to ride. Don't you guys find that ride that exercise is addicting though? Like your body craves it. Once you start doing it all the time, you can't give it up. Like this is such a huge outlet for my kids. Right, Sophie is ready to roll. She's wearing her halter equestrian sweatshirt. What's it say? Weekend vibes. But what's it say? Just ride. Oh, Storm's at the round bale now? So uh, our farrier comes here and because Kaylee's horses are here, he does all five of our horses here. So I actually might be able to ride because I can actually fit Sophie's stuff. I like the halter equestrian sweaters because they can fit underneath your coat. Yeah, they're thin. Like they're nice. But they're warm. They're warm, but they're thin. I know. I like and them too. If you don't ride that much, like once a week, then you don't want to ride that much. So then, if you ride more than once a week, then you want to ride a lot more. Oh, so you hear what have what Sophia's saying? She's saying that. If you only ride once a week, then it doesn't make you want to ride more. But the more you ride, the more you want to ride. That's like me with the Pasofinos. So I'm trying to find a time that I can go and try that horse. So I want to go next week. But we have a horse show. We have Sophie's birthday and a horse show. So, and I don't want to like bring a horse home, especially like at our setup. Whoa. And and leave it for a whole day while we go to a horse show. But actually our horse show is only, well, that one might be a whole day. But anyways, so I wanna like be there after. So my best bet is on Sunday. I don't need no one to say you're complicated. I... Yeah, Gabby's just saying that yeah, that when she first tried him, his neck, yeah, and now it looks so skinny. I think it's because we cut his hair off. Yeah. And he got darker. And his hair's on the close sides. When yeah. When he first tried Finn, he was lazy. And he was, and he was, yeah, not very muscly, huh? Yeah, he was lazy and not forward. He loved that. And he got rid of his, like, different skin. I knew from the start this might be overrated. Definitely feel like Sophie's crossed uh, a bridge. How beautiful that is. I think he's tired. I think he's tired. 
So we're just doing a little bit of flat today. We're not doing any jumping or anything like that. For a minute, I can feel him. For a minute, you can feel him do what? Did he do it? Gabby swears that she not only does lead changes at the shows. Yep. Okay, go ahead for a little walk. Wanna jump the rainbows? Look, he looks energetic today. Are you working on lead changes? I think there's a button that you sometimes push with him and a button that you sometimes didn't push with him. I know, I saw he did an auto change. I think it's a button that you push. If he goes over the jump the right way, then he's automatically able to do it. You don't think so? No, we cut the corner majorly. And we got the wrong lead, so that proves that I didn't go over. So caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Right, here we go again That was so easy See, you take an extra step. Breathe. There we go. So good. Girl's on flare now. I'll be 
you can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be That was good. You did good. Finn was staring at you. Why are you doing so good now? With all that practice yesterday. Now you should be able to do this no problem. Well, we're going to make that vertical. You even did a vertical over there with the black thing underneath. Yeah. But those are rainbows. Yeah, we're rainbows make are not that scary. Vertical, like, way higher. Sophie, Gabby is running out on treats. I think I'm ready to start the giveaway. The problem with the giveaway is I don't have oh, every single like thing gingerbread. and we might have to skip a day in between, but I think I'm ready to Ten start it. Giveaway. Yeah, so what we maybe we should start it on Monday. It got crushed. It got what is it, a unicorn? No, it's a cat, it got dented there. Cat. All right, so anyway, we ended up jumping. The girls ended up so, jumping. I only jumped low and on a loose rein, so we yeah. did. Yeah, 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 good job. We only job. need a light, light ride. Yeah, because this boy is gonna be riding hard tomorrow and Finn's gonna be riding hard tomorrow too. Sophie, what has gotten into you? You jumped your horse way Look too how much. Look cute he looks. Yeah. Mini. Okay, I'm gonna give him Look at how cute okay. he looks. He's a giraffe. He's like, give it to me. Which one smells the best? The ones that we oh, got from these the cat treats, like the northern equestrian toe dog. Yeah. Um. I'm coming, like Sophie. Gingerbread. Smells like gingerbread. Smells like gingerbread. So are Sophie's. Yeah, I have to pee too. Did you unicorn? Yeah, I don't. I think she should share some, because I didn't get that much. Yeah, I think you should share some She too. had those, she got those. Well anyways, I have more treats at home. As soon as I do the giveaway, I'll bring them to the barn. All right, so it turns out that our farrier isn't coming here till 1.30, so we're actually gonna go home, have lunch, and then come back and do the farrier. I ended up talking to Kaylee's dad, he was here, so I didn't get to video very much. Sam was videoing Sophie, but yeah, like today's the day that she decided to be even more brave. Like you guys know that her, Today was Finn's good day. So her big fears were uh, Phil, and she's mastered that, and then verticals were the next thing on the list. Sophie, you don't have very much left to be scared of. Uh, cantering jumps and Finn taking the long. I am making a list of all the things that she's gonna have to do in the next couple of weeks to master them and get over them. Because I think she can handle the longs now. I think she's ready. I might actually send Gabby and Sam back to do the shoes, but then, see that's the thing about Gabby and Sam, they're both really quiet people. I don't know why Gabby got the name Gabby, because she's not a very Gabby person, but they are both really quiet, and they won't bring up the fact that they don't want Chino to have shoes, but I think they can do it. I think they can. I believe in them. So I might do that. All right, we are home from the barn. Sophie and I just had lunch. I sent Sam and Gabby back to the farm to deal with the farrier, and I'm so glad. <laughs> so glad we did. <laughs> I got chocolate. Shh, don't tell them I let her have some chocolate. We both had some chocolate. Like, some days you just gotta have chocolate. Like, I have a freezer full of Reese's peanut butter cups because I bought too many for a recipe <laughs> that I did. Yeah, and now they're just calling our name, but anyway. And it's pouring rain again. Woo! And it's chilly. Looks like our cat feeder is full. <laughs> you know what we should do with this stall? We should set it up and put like all of our couches around there. Pull over all of our jumps in one corner so that it's like a little living room oh, stall. Look. That's cool. That is cool. All right, well, maybe we'll do that this weekend. My puppy's running around. I'm going to grab one. All right, I'm going to clean the poo. Oh, the poo, uh oh, somebody got wet. Oh. Sophie sees, where? Oh, there he is, look where he's hiding. This way. 
He was there. Do you guys see him? The dogs. Yeah, that's the problem. Whenever we bring the dogs down here, they scare them. Holly. Oh, that's a good one. I want to see your friends. Lead us to your people. So my dog actually came when I had when I called her, but she had an apple in her mouth. And today we booked Sophie's birthday party. Yeah. Are you excited? It's coming up really soon. What day is it? So your birthday is the 20th, but we have to do it the 27th. So it's exactly a week after your birthday. Okay, so I gotta tell Peyton and Elizabeth that. Yeah, I already told their moms. Can anybody guess what we're doing for Sophie's birthday party? I'm gonna give you a clue. It starts with Paso. It starts with Paso, and it's not Passover, you guys. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm really grateful that she fell in love on her last ride and she's getting more adventurous and stuff with them. I'm super excited because it's one of my favorite things. It's gonna be like my birthday ride too. My birthday's a month after Sophie, so it's gonna be like a present for both of us. Sophie, your birthday party is gonna be like a present for both of us. Why? Because I love it too. Let me see if I can get her to come to me. Just wait. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Come on, Daisy, come on. Good girl. So this is what she does. Do you guys see what she does? Sit, paw. Whoops, paw, paw. Easy paw. So this is what she paw. does. Daisy's like that, like, you know how you say to your kids, go clean up your room. Go clean up your room now. If you don't clean up your room right now, you're in big trouble, Missy. That's what Daisy does. Daisy doesn't come until the you're in big trouble, Missy part. Watch, let's see if we can do it again. Daisy, come on, Daisy. Daisy, come on, Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Ruby's like, get over here, you're in trouble. <laughs> Hey, come on, Daisy, Daisy, come on, come on, come on. Good girl, see, she doesn't like, she'll often, come here. Good girl. she'll often take the long route to you and she doesn't even acknowledge that she's heard you until you get up and you start walking toward her and then she's like, oh crap, I'm in trouble and then she comes running to you. Where's my but she's a really sweet puppy. Look how big she is now, though. Like, look at my hand compared to her. Can I lunge her? Oh, there's Lexi. Oh, where's Lexi? In the arena on the ground. Oh, there she is. Bring your friends. We want to meet them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?